यूनिफॉर्म मोशन नाउ टॉपिक मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक यूनिफॉर्म मोशन द चैप्टर इज मोशन द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर द टाइटल इज मोशन यू नो एंड हेयर वर्क इज यूनिफॉर्म मोशन सो इन द our uh, previous class children we have discussed about the motion that that is related to the movement when object change their position with respect to surroundings with respect to time that is called object are said to be in motion but now that the topic that they have divided you know that they categorized so that motion can be a uniform motion and it can be non uniform motion so to explain to understand the meaning of this what is this uniform motion uniform motion now see children uniform motion uniform motion means you know you can also write here you can consider it is a constant constant motion or another word you can use here steady s t a d y steady motion uniform motion means that constant motion that is a steady motion or or the another name uniform motion now what is this kind of motion it is a motion objects are moving objects will move now see here first see the definition then with the example we will try to understand if an object is moving along a straight line and the condition is that moving along a straight line let me write along a straight line and then the second thing covers equal distance equal distance children in equal interval of time that motion is called uniform just think about this situation children just think up for for about a minute motion is along a straight line and what special about this motion distance equal distance is covered in equal time intervals if you find this kind of situation if you find such type of object moving into so then you will say it is a steady motion this object is uh, yes please vansh so uniform motion can also be uh, it can also mean constant speed right that is the meaning okay, constant speed that uh, we will come after understanding the meaning of uniform motion that we will come to the topic of constant speed also okay now here what is this uniform motion now see here children that the example the school bus is there okay school bus move from position a to position b and what is the distance between a and b it is given in the diagram that is 10 meter and the time taken by this school bus to cover a distance of 10 meter is 1 second now the bus move from b to point c the distance is same again the same distance same path length covered by the bus in the same time of 1 second again bus move from c to let me make that all this distance equal and suppose up to this point d and this c to d is 10 meter again in the same time of 1 second now what do you find object is moving with the constant speed as once asked equal distance in equal time interval that kind of motion is called uniform motion constant and steady motion are you getting this point children what is this uniform motion equal distance traveled in equal time interval and you know with the speed 10 meter in 1 second 10 meter the school bus is running and when osan bowled you know that the athletes he made the world record and he moved with less than you know if i consider you know in 100 meter race his record is around i'm not exact figure but 9. Point something 46 or 44 seconds now here it means that uh, he has covered more than 10 meter distance in 1 second to make this world record if he moves in 10 seconds he will be able to cover 100 meter. 
in 10 seconds with the speed. If anyone want to break a record of world record of Ocean Vault, so he or she should move 11 meter per second to break the world record. Are you getting this point, children? It's, you know, physics, you know, that when the athletes, they practice, their coach, they instruct them how to speed up, how to speed up, how to, how to you have run. If you have to create history, if you have to make the world record, so you have to remember this condition. You have to cover around 11 meter every second. Now next. So in the next slide here, Many of students here, please keep your camera on all the time. Keep it on, please. Now we have speed, children. Speed is what? First, it is a scalar quantity. The second, a rate at which an object covers distance. Rate, how fast or how slow? Rate at which an object cover distance. So basically in mathematics, mathematical equation, you can find speed is given by path length, is the path length children, divided by time taken. If you are able to calculate path length, that is the distance traveled by an object and we can calculate. You can calculate the path length easily. And second, if you are able to calculate the time taken, time taken, how will you calculate? Time taken with the help of the stopwatch, we can measure the time also. So you can find the speed of any object. A car moving on a highway, you can calculate its speed. Athlete running, you can calculate his speed. So it's a scalar quantity. Now move to the velocity, you know, velocity. A rate at which an object changes its position in a given direction. You know that speed is a scalar, but velocity is a vector quantity, but there is a small difference. And what is that small distance? If you look carefully the definition and you will find rate at which an object covers distance, rate at which an object change its position. Cover distance is also that the object. person is changing its position. Up to that, the def, both the definition are same, but that the difference is about the direction. In velocity, direction play a very important role. To write the mathematical equation, you can find here what is the mathematical equation for writing uh, speed, uh, sorry, velocity, and that is, this is displacement upon time taken. Speed is path length divided by time. Velocity is displacement upon time taken. Displacement upon time taken. Now here, displacement of vector quantity, velocity is also vector quantity. But sometimes when we will do our next topic on numerical, sometimes you will see that I will write that velocity equal to distance upon time taken somewhere you find. This is also a possible case. In what situation that path length is is equal to equal to displacement when motion is linear. So at that time, you know that the distance is equal to displacement. So children, but basically velocity is a vector quantity and the right equation is displacement upon time taken, not the distance upon time taken. But sometimes we write, sometimes we write, but that is the meaning. It will be understood that uh, that motion is along a straight line. In that situation, distance and displacement are equal. So children, now here, speed is equal to path length divided by time taken, velocity equal to displacement upon time taken. From this equation, I can conclude what I can conclude, children. 
I can conclude that speed can never be zero if object is in motion. If object moves, because path length can never be zero, but velocity can be zero. Velocity can be zero, children. Why? Because displacement can be zero. In the same example, when one athlete starts from moving one point and return back to the same position, velocity will speed will be there, but velocity will be zero because displacement is zero. Zero divided by whatever the time taken, two minutes, three minutes, whatever the time, but zero upon time that gives you zero. In that situation, velocity will be zero, but speed is there. So these are the things that you know you should remember. What is the time? Still, we have seven minutes. And after this, the displacement is also acceleration, right? Yes. The displacement is also acceleration. Displacement is a displacement, you know, once and acceleration that after understanding after this topic of velocity, we will come to the acceleration also. Acceleration is uh, the rate of change of velocity. Acceleration is time rate of change of velocity is called acceleration with that I will discuss in our on Friday in next class. Okay, they, they have explained further that the meaning of the speed and velocity and in this same situation that uh, you see, go through with this slide, children. House to McDonald's, two kilometer distance, time taken is suppose one hour, path length will be two kilometer each side, two plus two will be four kilometer path length. And definitely displacement will be zero because that the boy returned back to the same initial position. And now the question is actually you have to find out the speed and velocity in this situation. You have to find out the speed and velocity. Now see what is the speed and velocity in this situation. Speed, you know, the equation, path length upon time taken. The total time is one hour in going and coming back. And four kilometer per hour will be the speed. What about the velocity? Return back, zero divided by time of one hour, zero. Speed velocity is zero meter per second, uh, zero kilometer per hour. Now, few questions here, children. Then we will end our class now. Uh, speed is a dash quantity, and this question is for Madeline. Madeline, speed is a scalar. Vector, neither or both. Madeline, can you hear me? Oh, yes, sir. Is it um, scalar? You said scalar, guy three. Guy three. Question number one. It's A, is it A? It's a scalar quantity, correct. Okay, now question number two. Velocity is, Wilson, velocity is what? Wilson. Is it vector step? It's a vector. Now, children that we have discussed here in today's class, you need to revise it at home. And 